Hi, I'm David King at davidleeking.com. I have two uh, Canon PowerShot cameras, one newer, one older. I want to test out the video and audio quality of each to see how they do. I have, I'm, I'm using the best quality video settings that each of the cameras do. I'm using notes on my iPad, so if I'm not looking at you, I'm looking at my notes. Fair enough. Okay, my first camera is the Canon PowerShot SD780IS. It's using the 1280 by 720 30 frames per second video setting. It's the highest video setting this camera does. But the video quality is fine, especially in a you know brighter area, a well-lit area. The bug. The audio quality is fine as well. There's a tiny microphone on the front of the camera. Uh, it emphasizes sort of a tinnier, higher end in the EQ spectrum kind of sound. It's sort of telephone-ish, I guess. Um, and it, it does okay. You're probably hearing me just fine. It's got a screen on the back of the camera, so if you're pointing it at something, like you're taking a photo or making a video of something, works great. If you're doing this kind of selfie mode thing where you're talking to the camera, it's a little harder. You have to guess, I guessed this time, you can also take an iPad or an iPhone or something else and put it back behind to see the viewfinder. That said, this camera is meant to be simple, simple, simple. It's tiny, it fits in my pocket easily. Um, it's easy to use. Okay, so that was the Canon uh, PowerShot 780. Now let's look at the my new camera, the Canon PowerShot GX7 Mark II. So I'm using the 1920 by 1080 60 frame per second setting. I could have used the same setting as the 780, but um, wanted to show the best quality of each. This camera has a much wider lens. You've probably already noticed that. You can see my shoulders and less of my head in the shot. Um, to do the same thing on this camera, I'd have to scoot it back a lot farther. The GX7 does low light much better, though we're not in that today. The audio quality is much better on the GX7 than on the 780. There's a little more bass, a little more presence there. It sounds more like me. The microphone is on top of the camera, so it will pick up equally in front and back of the camera. Just don't put your little your finger on the little bitty mic on top of the camera or you might sound muted. The GX7 has a pop-up screen so I can see myself talking while I'm making video. It's pretty handy that way with the other camera I have to guess. Two things I don't like about this camera. The record button is on the back of the camera. Works great if I am aiming the camera at something else and, and filming. Doesn't work so great in this setting. I have to know where the button is. I have to reach my hand back there. It's a little awkward. And the touch screen on the screen is sort of awkward as well. I find myself accidentally hitting controls on that sometimes. There's a setting where you can turn that off. I haven't done that yet. I might. So those are two of my cameras. I've used both to make videos. Um, I also have access to DSLRs at work. Um, I've got an iPad and an iPhone. My point here is that what you have now probably will get you started making videos. So make some videos. Let's see what you can do.